Hi, my name is Erica Sidoon, and this is a concept video for a book that I haven't written, I, ha I don't have a contract for this book, and I don't have a script for this video, which means it's going to be long and rambling, and I'm going to say um a lot and probably make some stupid mistakes along the way. Please bear with me. This is Preview. It's one of the coolest applications on OS X, or Mac OS now, and it's an application that a lot of people use, but they don't know what they can do with it beyond, say, cropping images, viewing images, or annotating PDFs. There's a lot more you can do. Today, I'm going to show you some freeform drawing. You get to the tool suite by clicking this toolbox. It's, when you click it, it shows the markup toolbar. When you click it again, it goes away. I'm going to keep it there. And I'm going to choose the sketch tool, which is this guy all the way towards the left. And as I hover over it, you see the sketch name. You can do a lot of things with sketching. And it acts kind of like a full drawing tool. It's not a great full drawing tool, but it's a really powerful one compared to what most people anticipate. Since it's nearly uh, Valentine's Day, or it was Valentine's Day a few days ago, I'm going to draw a heart. And there's my heart. It's not a very good heart. But when I release the mouse, look what, what happens. And look what preview does for me. Boom. There's a heart. It's a much better heart than my original. And you can see my original by moving to the top left. And there is this little pop-up. And in this pop-up is a little thing that lets me choose the original and the revised version. I'm going to go click on the revised version and say that's what I want. Now, it's a black heart. I don't want a black heart. So I'm going to change it to a red color. I don't really like the thinness of the border. So I'm going to change the border to just a bit thicker. It's a bit too thick. And there's my heart. It's a wonderful heart. And I just drew it freehand and preview made it better. Next, I'm going to draw an arrow. Okay, here's my arrow. And it took a little bit of the curvature while I was drawing it. And it turned it like this. And that's not really what I want. So what I want to do is go ahead and unclick on the rendered version. And then I'm going to use this little green handle here and make it a better heart. Uh, sorry, a better arrow. And then I'm going to move it into place. There. There's my heart and my arrow. Next, I'm going to do a thought bubble. Again, I'm using the sketch tool, so I don't have to make any changes to the tool I'm using. And here's my thought bubble. It kind of looks like a brain or a sheep. But Preview knows, knows what I'm actually trying to do. It figures it out and it renders. I'm going to get rid of that red in the center because I don't want red. And to do that, I'm going to click on the clear color. And there we go. Oops. I drew something instead of drawing something. There we go. And I want some text in there, so I'm going to click on the text. And I'm going to say, thinking of you. Isn't that sweet? There's a lot you can do in preview with freehand drawing. Let me show you one more feature before I stop, because I think this is just really cool. And that is when you draw freehand polygons. I'm going to try to draw a five-sided item. And hopefully, and in fact it does, Preview picks that up. Here's my original. Here's the rendered version. If you notice, once again, there is a green handle in the middle of this. The blue handles do exactly what you expect. They just take you and move things around. But when you move on the green handles, it does something else. And that is, it adjusts the number of size. If I go counterclockwise, it takes me all the way back to a triangle. If I do clockwise, it takes me all the way up to a 12-sided polygon. Again, a really neat feature and something that I bet that most people watching this video didn't know about. I think that Preview has 
a really lot of cool, hidden, wonderful features like this, and I think it's a Mac OS hidden gem.